Now, from Tom Igo, we're going to learn about the future of physical computing. So, how do you interact with your body and a computer? How can you draw on a screen by waving your hands? So, please welcome NYU's Tom Igo. Thanks. Uh, so, as Bree said, uh, sorry, as Freddie said, I teach at ITP at NYU. It's an art school, and I teach physical computing, which is a way of teaching interaction design that foregrounds the physical. Uh, it's not about how we see the computer, it's how the computer sees us. The computer sees us basically through the things it's got to sense us, the keyboard, the mouse, the screen. And there's a lot of projects that come all the time when you're doing physical computing. So this is really just going to show you a few of those projects. The first one's the theremin. Everybody builds a theremin in physical computing. Basically, it's a photo cell, a microcontroller, into the computer, it makes sound, it goes Not a lot of interaction there because you're just waving your hands in the air. So what comes after that, of course, the next thing that comes up is the glove. And everybody loves to build gloves because it's just as easy as building a theorem, except you get to hit things. And so you basically get to tap on the table, you get to make a beat going boom, 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 boom. Everybody loves it except nobody's got any rhythm. And, um, you know, it's a good, good, easy project. So after that, of course, once you've got rhythm, you want to dance. So people tend to build dance floors. Again, really easy to build. Four switches on the floor. You sense where the person's standing. You know where they're moving. You can see they're dancing. Following on that, of course, there's the Scooby-Doo painting. Everybody's seen these at some point or another. It's the painting that follows you with its eyes. And lots of people love to build these. The thing they do is they mistake presence for attention. So presence is easy to sense. Attention is hard to sense, like this. There's no attention going on whatsoever. <laughs> After that comes the body as cursor. That's where you're putting a camera on the ceiling and you're sensing somebody's movement in two-dimensional space. And that's great, except what you end up with is an interaction where it looks like they're dancing around doing river dance because they're not moving anything. There's no way of physically expressing themselves with their arms, their legs, or anything like that. Of course, then comes video mirrors, basic video tracking. I call these hand wavers because that's what people do when they're running a, a video mirror. These are the screensavers of physical interaction, but they're a great way to learn about uh, uh, video tracking. Following on that, everybody wants to move things, so they do mechanical pixels. Danny Rosen has the corner market cornered on this. Basically, it's the same thing as a video mirror, except you got a thousand or so motors to deal with. It's a bit of a problem sometimes. Anyway, following on that, you get a little more advanced, and coming up next is the hand as cursor. Now we've got the chance to actually do gesture because we tend to gesticulate with your hands like I've been doing. These are really great because it's not that much harder than doing a video mirror, except you actually can sense meaningful gesture. That's important. That's what computers aren't doing now. After that, you get multi-touch surfaces, and these are flavor of the month in museums right now because everybody loves the multi-touch. But here's the thing about multi-touch. If you've got an iPhone, try operating it in your pocket. You won't be able to. That's the limitation of multi-touch. Of course, following on that, of course, you get tilty tans and tilty tables. And I think these happen because people like to break furniture. They're basically stands and tables that you tilt, and then the thing projected on them moves with it. It's great when you get to stand on them and lose your balance. Great way to play uh, super monkey ball, things like that. Thanks to all the students whose work I've gotten to show, and thanks to Brady for having me. Have a great night. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much.